Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Regan Ali here for another episode of Speaking My Mind. How are you guys doing? I hope you're all doing well today. It is a Monday morning, coming up to quarter two or past 11 o'clock. It's probably past 11 o'clock actually uh, here. Um, not too warm, not too cold, but modest here. Um, no, still no jumper, light jacket. So I've got a shirt, so I've got on. So what do I want to talk about today? I want to talk about migraines or headaches specifically. Specifically this, this health topic because it is something that I uh, I get quite a lot throughout all throughout my life to be fair. Um, I would not say it's, a, it's something that is as serious as perhaps maybe as other things that people get or catch to in life. But it's certainly something that I catch, well I say catch, but it's something that I gather every now and then. Now I want to make it clear people uh, when I talk about migraines and headaches, uh, please don't say in the comments I need to go see a doctor because that's not true. Uh, because it is perfectly natural for people to suffer from migraines and headaches. There could be all sorts of reasons for it. I.e., for example, uh, I didn't drink enough water today. Didn't drink enough fluid or I didn't eat enough or I didn't sleep enough or I spent too much time looking at a computer screen. Just a couple of various examples of how you can get migraine or you've been to lots of events or shows loud music and, and whatnot, which can cause you to have a headache as well. Certain drinks of alcoholics you may have had as well. I, I don't drink or I don't think I've drunk alcohol for quite a long time. Um, so it wouldn't be alcohol for me, but there are all sorts of reasons why you get them. Now, I think it's, it is a pain in the backside for me. I think if I ever had the option, if there was like a tablet or something I could take that would eradicate uh, headaches, I would take it. I would definitely take it. Um, I do think it's a bane of, it's something of a bane of my life and it definitely sets me back on things. Um, but sometimes, sometimes it ends up just becoming an annoyance and it doesn't even become a problem for me. Um, sometimes it's just a case of, like I go into what, I, I remember when I used to go into work, I had migraine and then it would clear up later on in the day. Um, and sometimes it would be, when I take paracetamol, it clears it up. Sometimes I don't take uh, anything for it and it just clears up just like that. Um, it can vary because sometimes, uh, sometimes just resting your head and sleeping and whatnot, which is normally the best way to, ta to deal with them. Sometimes the better thing to do is actually keep yourself busy, to keep yourself occupied. And I notice that quite a lot whenever I do some live streams. So believe it or not, I've, uh, I think I've mentioned this a few times actually. I don't know how many people of you notice this but whenever I, there are times where i'm doing one or two live streams where i go in and i do have a headache i don't know if it's some it's not really super bad headache but i do have sometimes go have a headache going in and it's like oh, i'm not sure if i can do this i'm not sure if i'm up for this and then as soon as it got as soon as i start the show um start the show like it just goes away i just don't think about it anymore because i'm so focused and concentrating on what i'm doing that i don't even realize that i have a headache like it's, it's, it's completely oblivious to me. It's like disappeared. It's a very, very weird, weird thing, you know? So sometimes it's not always a case of just resting, but sometimes it's a case of just focusing your mind on something else. And in doing so, you can take, your, take it away from it. Like right now, I don't have a migraine, but if I was to not drink for a while, if I was to stop eating for a while, if I was to just consist go home and consistently do my work and whatnot, I could probably suffer from migraine quite easily. Because um, um, sometimes that when I go to sometimes when I go to bed, I don't go to bed and I just rest my head. Sometimes I go to bed watching videos or something like that, and um, it basically means that I can't. Uh, uh, I wake up and then I find out that my iPod or the phone that I'm using to watch videos on. It's dead out of battery because I was watching videos or whatever. I wake up the next day, which is not ideal. And uh, sometimes I wake up in the morning and you have a migraine, like a really, really loud one, really, really tensionless migraine. And it's like, ah, oh, it's really, really painful. And it's like, not a, it's not a nice start feeling to the day. It could be really, really, really troubling. Um, but in actual fact, actually clear, sometimes it actually just, it just, even though you feel it in the morning, it just clears up later on, that's what it does. It just clears up. So it's, um, I don't know how many of you wake up with migraines and then, and then it just shakes off 
later on, but it varies from people to people, to be fair. Um, because everyone has, obviously not everyone is fit and healthy, and I certainly don't consider myself fit and healthy, even though I may look like somebody who is fit and healthy. I don't go to the gym, don't work out as much as I used to, that's for sure, something that I should be doing. Um, but it's different to everyone. Um, so that can affect whether, we, I believe that can affect whether you have um, uh, a, a migraine or not as well. So there's a combination of reasons of why you can have them and how you can have them and how you can get them. But um, how you deal with them, there are a variety of ways as well. Now, um, I only take the paracetamol unless my headaches are really, really bad. If I have a really, really bad headache, like, and I, like, and I can't can handle it, then I'll take a paracetamol and sometimes I'll crash on the bed. Um, I have had really bad headaches that managed to clear themselves up before live streams as well. That I've not spoken about as well. Um, again, I want to stress that even though I've done more than 100 live streams on my channel, if not, this isn't a regular, I don't have them all the time. Um, it just, it's just a nat like I say, it's a natural thing, guys. Don't stress. It's a natural thing to have uh, migraines and headaches. I think I, whatever definition you want to call them. I call them headaches, me personally. But it's different to everyone. But, um, but yeah, it's uh, I actually, true story, I actually have a Facebook group I made a long time ago. And I never posted since on Facebook. It was, it was called I effing hate headaches. But that's how much I hate headaches. Um, if you, if you look hard enough, you might find, you might find it on, might find it on Facebook, but, um, uh, I don't know, I don't think anyone joined it, not that I recall, but, uh, never talked about it, uh, never posted on it, it was a long, long time ago, to be fair, but, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, what you guys think of migraines and headaches, uh, how often or not often do you suffer from them, how you deal with them, do you just take paracetamol, do you sleep them off? Sometimes you just work it off, or does it vary, or does it like you vary from whatever kind of migraine it is? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below what you guys think of, of headaches and whatnot. But yeah, those, those are my stories with them. I can assure you, it'll not be the last time I get a migraine or a headache. But yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I hope to catch you all very, very soon.